Hello stampers, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. And today I wanted to share with you how I made these cards. And these three cards I have made for my kit this week. And it starts on Monday but I actually got them ready early, shock, shock. So I wanted to show you each one. The first one is the Butterfly Brilliance Bundle. Here's the inside. I've stamped and cut out three of the uh, butterflies with the big die. I did stamp some of the little individual uh, butterflies out because I did buy two stamp sets so I could cut one apart and then leave one all together because it it does stamp and cut six at one time which is pretty cool so anyway this is our first card using um, the designer series paper true love and then I have this cute little happy birthday guy Oh, I think it's a girl. She's wearing pink. <laughs> but this is the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Bundle. And actually, the bear's head is using the punch turned upside down. And then this is the bottom of the ice cream cone. And then I use this cute little um, embossing folder. And then there's on the inside. I got this idea from... Oh goodness, I think it was Leanne Griff. I also stamped on my envelope just some of the sprinkles for the ice cream card. And then the card that we're going to be making now, and this one has a little sliding mechanism inside, so you can take this up or down. So you can take it off, open your card up, and this one also is using the True Love Designer Series paper. And the little mechanism is super easy to make. The stamp set that I've used on this one, Forever Always, I just used the little flower on the envelope here. And then on the back, I did another print from the True Love Designer Series paper, Happy Thoughts. Um, I put this one on the inside saying just wanted to send some happy thoughts which is here and then the little hello that I put on the front is from the best year okay so let's get stamping so what you need is a piece of real red cardstock and this piece is eight and a half by five and a half only it's scored at two and an eighth at one end and two and an eighth at the other end. And actually I did it a little bit less than two and an eighth because I wanted to be able to move my mechanism up and down easily. So remember that when you're cutting that out. Then I have a piece of basic white and this one is five and a quarter by four. And that one goes on the inside. And then I have two pieces of True Love Designer Series paper. You could use either side. They're all just really cute prints. You could do the flowers or you could do the little designs. And these are cut at one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. Then I have four pieces of three by three. And so I took two of them and scored them at one and a half, which is the center, like that. And this, these are going to make our mechanism, right like that. We'll do that in a minute. And then I have a piece of real red, and I've cut this one at three and a half by three and a half. A piece of basic black, I've cut at three and a fourth by three and a fourth. That's going to layer right on there. And then I've cut out from the True Love Designer Series paper one of the pretty flowers. And so I'm going to put that there. 
I've got a piece of one half inch, and I think this is by three and a half, but I'm going to stamp the hello, and then I'm going to use the classic label punch and punch that out to get it the size I want it to be. Then I have another little flower that I've also cut out from the same sheet that I'm gonna put on the inside. So that's all of my pieces. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm just gonna put some seal, Stampin' Seal, on the back side. And then I'm just gonna layer these in this section. Take the other side and do the same thing. Try to get them both at the same distance at the top and the bottom if you can. Okay, so there's that piece. Make my um, little mechanism here. Take some of my Tombow multi-purpose, and I'm gonna apply on half of the piece. Lay this down and line it up right over top, right like that. And then just give it a rub. And then other piece that I have scored and folded and do the same thing. So you're gonna have those two meet in the middle like that. And then just give them a rub. It dries pretty, pretty fast to hold that down there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is this piece, the top, glue on the top piece like that. I'm gonna cover this piece up just exactly right over top of that. And I like to give a rub just to make sure it is down there, stuck down there really well. Got a couple little pieces here of glue I'm gonna get off. Okay, here we go. All right, so here is our mechanism. Isn't that cool? It's just like an X. And so it right inside of these, and then that's how it goes up and down. Isn't that so cool? I love it. Okay, so now we are going to take our three and a half square red piece and cover this white mechanism on the top. And I'm just going to take that Grab a hold of it, and then I just want that right in the center. So this is gonna be the top. Now I'm going to put on my black layer. Like that. Again, just make a nice even layer if you can. And now I'm taking the pretty flowers. And so here's some dimensionals. And I'm going to put these just on the back side here. Now for these, I um, you can fussy cut these out if you like, or if you're like me and you have the a brother scan and cut, I cut all of these out at one time on my machine, my scan and cut machine, which saves tons of time. So there's that. So now we need to do just a little bit of stamping. 
my Memento Black Ink. And on the inside, I'm using just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. Stamp that right up there towards the top. And now um, you could either take um, the little flower, which I had cut out. That's what I did on my first one. Or we could use the pretty little flower stamp, which is cute too, to stamp the hello. I just wanted something small and I wanted some color like that. And actually that's too close to the edge. I wanted to have a little bit of edge on there. Let's do that again. There we go. I'm going to punch. I want it up like right there. I'm going to put it in this side and just even it out like right there. And there we go. Um, I'm going to put a couple of mini dimensionals on here. Just put a couple on. I almost covered it up. Right there. There we go. So, let's take, put this down towards the bottom, kind of in the middle between these two pieces here. So, go ahead and Glue this piece in. It's done. There. And now I've got this piece. And take this and open these two ends up like that. And then just slide that in there. Slide this one in here, and there you have it. Is that so cute? So here's my envelope, and on the front, stamp my little flower, and on the back, right here, I've got a piece of the designer paper from the True Love set again, and I'm going to put some glue on the flap. I'm gonna decorate my flap on my envelope. And I think I would like this flower side since we've got the pretty flowers. So there, I'm just gonna rub that on like that. Now I'm going to flip this over and then here is my pattern where I can cut off the extra. And again, you could use any of the pretty designer series paper in that pack. It's all beautiful. And I chose just to do the pretty little flowers. It's a little coordinating um, pattern, I think, to go with the others that I have on the card. So there's that. There's that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now the only thing that I want to do is add some of my opal browns. Aren't they pretty? And these are in the mini catalog and they are on the page where the um, oh, the seashell set is, let's see, yeah, the friends are like seashells, this bundle, it's on that page, they're called opal rounds, aren't they so pretty? Okay, so, that's my first card, 
Let me know how you like it, if you wanna make it. If you do want a kit, just go on to my blog, tinalovestostamp.com and click on contact me, send me an email and um, give me your address and if you would like to pay with PayPal and I will get one sent out to you ASAP. All right, so thank you so much and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel and I will see you really soon, bye.